Today we are very happy to have uh, with us Mr. Amit Chaudhary who is the co-founder of Lenscart and he is also a great mentor to startups in uh, today's ecosystem. Amit, we are going to talk to him about how do you really become a good mentor. Today startups are a reality of our ecosystem yes. and startup ecosystem is only uh, looking to grow bigger and in the times to grow and of course because the founders are very young. Uh, they also need a lot of mentoring and hold ho hand holding along with the funding that is being offered to them in order yeah. to be able to deploy that funding correctly and be able to achieve the growth that they're really looking at. So I'm going to talk to Amit for the next 15 minutes and really understand that today if you're going to mentor and help startups uh, to grow, what is it that you need to do in order to be a good mentor? So welcome Amit and it's so wonderful to have you here with us. It's always a pleasure to be with you and and learn from you. Uh, to, to answer your question, you know, let me start with uh, my experience of uh, uh, mentoring startups. I think it was few years back when we realized uh, th that the things which we are doing at Lenscart uh, is not something which has been done before. Uh, so a lot of pioneer work uh, in terms of omni-channel, uh, D2C creation, how, how do we marry tech to business. While, while doing all of this, we realize that uh, uh, there are a lot of other people, not necessarily in our category, but beyond our category, are trying to do the same things. And while we have done our fair share of mistakes, you know, it was, uh, uh, it, it was okay for us to share that to the other startup founders, mostly when we met them. Uh, we, we felt that, you know, why not we share them. So we took this approach and we said that, you know, why not make this a formal. Uh, thing and at least I spend half of my Saturdays uh, meeting uh, startup entrepreneurs uh, more frequent now because of COVID lockdowns it is easier to do it on Zoom than, than to schedule it right. in person but I think uh, mentoring uh, has taught me uh, personally that you know most of the problems which, which we look back 10 years from now when we started uh, when we wanted you know small small answers to the questions uh, which are very easy or very adaptive right now for us to react in a particular way for that problem, which was which, which was not easy back then. So it is now uh, when when we look at these uh, entrepreneurs who are coming to us and we are trying to help them out, it just becomes uh, very easy uh, for them to realize that we have been into that position. Right. And mentoring just gives you that perspective that you know you you have to look look back your journey okay. and say that you know what are the mistakes you did what worked and what did not work and help them out out in this uh, particular uh, step of yeah, yeah mentor no, but, mentee relationship I mean, you know obviously when you started lenscart uh, all of you founders were very young yourselves in your yeah. 20s i believe yeah. and you know what what were the things you at that point felt that you know if we had a mentor to help us with this uh, we could have done things differently now that you look back your journey 10 years back. So, you know, what, what are the things that really mentor brings to the table? I think mentor brings focus. You know, one of the uh, best mentors we had was Ronnie Screwala. Uh, you know, when we started, he came in as an investor, but I would say uh, he came in as a mentor to us. And uh, when, when he came in, you know, we were, we were diversifying a lot. Uh, we were opening bags cart, watch cart, jewels cart, like, we were opening too many cards, uh, but the focus was uh, not there, right. and that is that is he as a mentor brought us, uh, you know, brought the focus in saying that you know our passion lies in something. We really need to focus on that thing. Uh, I think I think that is where every entrepreneur, uh, you know, uh, gets swayed away from what the public feels. You know, when you are young, when you are starting a company, you are trying to get opinions and feedback from everybody around and everybody will have their way of looking at the problem statement which the entrepreneur is trying to solve and in all that you know there is so much noise and there is so much entropy in the mind that we tend to you know move away from the focus area of what we wanted to do Correct. and of course with the addition of funding and talking to investors uh, you know all this just adds up and and we get uh, you know away from the focus uh, and I think that is what what's the best role of a mentor is right. saying that you know uh, since I am not part of your business I am not part of your day to day Operation, work life yeah. can I just step back and take you also step back to realize that you know this is this is where you are going right and you should just focus on that right. while everything else is a noise uh, can you just 
you know see the longer term dream but by choose the path which you feel is right Correct. right because you know entrepreneurs you know are a, are a, are a, i would say Wild a breed, breed. <laughs> yeah a breed right which 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 doesn't listen to anybody Correct. i don't think mentors are uh, are are coaches here which are putting the entrepreneur daily you know in a particular regime right it, they are essentially just showing the path and probably sharing their experiences which the entrepreneur can pick it from right right more than anything else you know when when we look back uh, like one of the first investors of ours you know they helped us uh, raise a particular amount of capital right. uh, and that was you know he mentored us why the right capital and i still remember you know while we were talking to the ic uh, of theirs and they told that you know if if you less capitalize you'll be neither here nor there right that is such a great advice we still realize that one advice back then you know is is helping us till now yeah. and you just just keep these things in your mind i've always realized that you know you can have two hours call with your mentor but you'll pick up one thing right. that stays for life Correct. so even if you're doing monthly or quarterly you know, those one or two things is is really helpful for you to just gather for life and that becomes part of you sure that is how i think mentors help a lot in the journey of entrepreneurship and scaling up so you know i mean you've had now several mentors uh, in lens cart and today you yourself are a mentor so what are the quality traits do you think you have seen in mentors you know what is it that they really help uh, or what are the areas that really help the startup in which is very helpful for the founder as he's building up his startup or her startup i think first of all uh, to 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 become a mentor you have to like it it doesn't come with any uh, i i personally feel it should not come with any uh, financial logic in mind right there there is no transaction there right. you know if uh, whatever we have seen uh, like for like whoever has helped us during the course of building this organization or even whom i am helping in any way you know it it can't be a transaction right it is uh, a you have to feel like that you are part of the business and you have to suggest the right thing for the entrepreneur but you have to also feel uh, that there is nothing in it for me right and right? you have to just you have to just keep that in mind because if you are if you are continuously thinking that you know what is in it for me as a mentor then you are essentially not a mentor then you are almost like a consultant here correct right and what i uh, what i have always practiced uh, at least the startups i have felt is you know a lot, lot of people will come up to me and say that you know uh, amit why don't you take advisory shares uh, you know and and be part of my growth because i think they felt you know few of the advices or few of the feedbacks which i gave really helped them out but my my advice to them you know as a advisor is that don't give your equity in you know that is that is so precious yeah, and yeah. Uh, these are these are the few things you uh, you realize when when you're saying that you know you're building your own organization uh, and you're still helping the entire ecosystem to grow the entire entrepreneurship culture to grow in all of that you can't be greedy about few things here and there and the the best is that you know if like for an example if you are recalling these mentors today uh, you know they will also recall you and and you're you'll be somewhere or the other proud of yourself that you you have enabled so many businesses correct and i think that is that is a core here right i feel for a mentor so do you think a mentor should be taking equity instead of actually taking uh, uh, you know uh, uh, let's say a financial as you said that you know uh, a financial payout or a monthly payout do you think that is better overall for i think depends i think depends on the entrepreneur like i am very clear uh, i i don't want anything from it because i feel that's not the right way to it because if i commit i will have to uh, like i have to deliver on that right and i think if you're taking any financial obligation or equity you know there is an obligation uh, but as a mentor at least from my side my first priority is my own business right and yeah, apart from the mentors are also people who think of mentorship as a complete profession by itself yeah so for from their perspective if from their lenses if you look at it yeah. they are just like mentors yeah. instead of really doing a business yeah so what what is your advice to them that should they actually go for equity or yes, should they go yes, for financial yes 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 i feel it should be a mix uh, depends on you know what what's the uh, what what's the aim of that mentor mentee relationship uh, but 
but if there is a skin in the game and long term uh, thought process is there it is way better to just focus on uh, building it uh, along with the entrepreneur uh, and you know again uh, coming back to the same point uh, a mentor is somebody who is not part of day to day operations right. right he or she is part of taking a step back and realizing whether the uh, whether the path the entrepreneur is choosing is right or wrong and i think uh, in doing that you know if if the business is scaling big and and growing big i think uh, the mentor has a huge res- huge uh, you know appreciation for doing that uh, so i think it should be part of a long term thing uh, again depends on the mentor of of what he wants uh, but i'm sure uh, uh, it's also the entrepreneur who should feel right about that you know that that he or she deserves this Correct. because you know else it is again a transaction yeah right? that's true so you know just like we see a lot of exits happening you know from one fund at a certain level of growth and then you know that fund exits and then another fund sets in who brings a bigger capital yeah. do you think mentors should also be like that from a uh, from a startup or a founder's perspective you know that at certain stage this person would need one mentor the founder would need one mentor and then they need a different kind of a mentor to take them to yes the next yes yes of course you know uh, like in our stage of the company right now we need a lot of mentors who can help us get a better ipo right, right? and uh, this was not true 5 years back or 10 years back right so at every stage you will need different kind of uh, mentors some would be uh, you know who have who have been there done that you know and some would be who are just life coaches in that way where uh, you know giving advices of how to manage time because right now the mentors we seek for are who are who will be able to get us not focus because focus is there yeah. but how to manage time for that focus how to so many things, so many things together, things together. Yeah. so i think different skill set and different uh, requirements at different stage of the business uh, they should of course uh, and the only thing is the gratitude for the Uh, ex mentor shouldn't die because i think they have helped you reach there uh, so that shouldn't uh, be a scenario and like at least in our scenario again uh, we feel that you know we have at least maintained that uh, balance uh, of getting mentors again and again over the years but we have also kept the ex mentors from with us. with us to make sure that they are part of the journey sure yeah. So you know why I understand that a mentor certainly helps the founder but how can they also support his teams because you know the teams are also fairly young I've seen in startups correct, correct. and you know there is just so much on in the hands of a young founder that you know how can mentors play a big role in sort of putting their team also in yeah. focus not uh, not just the founder alone many a times it's so uh, indirect and contiguous uh, thought process because if the founder picks up something you know as i mentioned you know they will he or she will pick up one thing in the entire uh, uh, session with the mentor and that one thing actually trickles down the organization Correct. right if like like the focus thing i was talking about the entire organization of ours just started focusing on uh, on on lenskart and and it is because it it trickled down that way right. so uh, directly or indirectly the mentor is uh, doing this to the uh entire team uh, but many a times we have also seen that uh, you know for an example if if i am doing a one on one with somebody uh, uh in my team and i realize that you know they need a specific session with my mentor right. uh, i'll i'll probably you know have have a calendar done with him and and uh, see how he how he or she recovers because you know mentor mentee relationship is also uh, not uh, you know it's almost like a marriage you have to the compatibility yes. is not same with everyone Correct. right it's uh, it has to be because how i am looking at things and how my, my mentor is guiding it and how i am taking it right might not be that the other person is also taking it in the same way Correct. right so there is uh, there is that compatibility which will uh, keep on uh, you know you have to you have to check it i mean then you will realize that this person might be good with this or that at least from your team member perspective but i think you should we should really encourage because mentors play a huge role in uh, yeah, in shaping of the organization, organization. Yeah. with the founder of <laughs> yes 
and you know um, so now there is another aspect i've seen that lot of startups today they have been able to of course because overall there is a, a ecosystem and a climate like that they're able to raise fund yeah. but i see very little uh, being told about what are the best practices to deploy that fund you know yeah. now you've got you've raised an x amount of funding yeah. so how can a mentor play a role in making sure you know you don't want to make mistakes obviously yeah. Yeah. it's an external capital Correct. that you've got while you don't have to return it but still you're responsible yeah. Yeah. for using it rightly yeah. so how can mentors you know sharpen the lenses of uh, a founder to say that you know okay now we've got the capital in the bank yeah. but this is how we really need to be uh, using it i mean do yeah. you think they bring in frugality to the system or do you think yeah. that they bring a more better more structured approach to use that yes. capital so what what are your opinion on this you know what again you know money finds its way to spend right it is it is like a it is like water uh, and that is where uh, and many times you know it's 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 so beautiful to see that we do the same mistakes again and again and again these mentors will come back to you and and give you the right advices like frugality you mentioned it is it is such a attribute uh, to make sure that your that this capital is not yours right as a founder this is your company's capital and uh, this is your organization somebody has put a lot of faith in it uh, to make sure you grow i'm not saying that we need to be penny wise pound foolish but frugality is a is a art and i think most of the most of the top mentors we have met uh, who have you know uh, built big billion dollar businesses and when you when you talk to them i think you'll just see that you know it's it's not even that they men, they they telling you this you can just see it by meeting them that you know how frugal they are they will still talk about uh, you know how to save money in uh small small things electricity cost of a store right we just got this advice from somebody and and we you you realize that you know the, these all small small things you uh learn from these people and you implement in your business uh is the real real way to find that success path uh, and that is where mentors come very handy and gives you advices which are like like one of my uh, one of one of my f- friends now whom i also call my mentor jamit right used to work with uh, kotak now works with aditya billa right. like he will still talk to me and piyush about uh, you know how to save money in marketing are we doing right or wrong uh, and the and the irony is that when you have less money you you look at those things and you have more money you don't tend to look at those things but that is where the company's uh, you know bottom line uh, impact. gets impacted in a severe way and and these advices and these mentors help you stick to your basics no absolutely and i think it's something that a lot of founders probably need to learn across the way so obviously you know i see that uh, piyush has made so many investments in lens garden today you have so many varied uh, startups uh, shark you know, tank in, yeah at shark tank yeah. yes so um, so what is it that uh, you know you and, and considering that you know their businesses are very different yeah. the lines of work are uh, very different so how is it you going to be mentoring them you know what what is it you going to be Honest, how are you going to be advising honestly them? they are mentoring us you know <laughs> they are they are teaching us the new way to do businesses and you know right. it is it is again amazing to see how these young people are uh, not choosing the usual way of getting a job and uh, trying to break the norm and doing businesses the good thing is that all this uh, uh, like all this series of what what you guys have been doing for years now what shark tank is at least telling the world that this is possible uh, and uh, for, from our perspective from our mentoring perspective again you know uh, i don't think mentor is just about focusing on the business as i mentioned here it's about uh, telling them what worked for them and what didn't work for them Uh, most of the businesses are not related to us at all right it's it's neither retail it's neither e-commerce neither uh, but but at the end of the day there is a buyer and a seller uh, in in any commerce and uh, uh, like if like for an example if you talk to anybody any founders at lenscart or any team member they will the customer obsession is so high Correct. so if if me if we us as a mentor is able to just pass on that value in some way or the other to the to our mentees uh, you know that will trickle down and whatever business they are doing right at the end of the day if consumer obsession is there right. you know it will it will help them in growing their business so i think it is 
every mentor will bring a you know somebody is is, is a gem in marketing right. uh, like if uh, like for, say aman you know is is, a, is an amazing marketing person he understands right. uh, market so he will he will have his own expertise of uh, making sure that how marketing is done so i think everybody brings on their different uh, uh, like mentors yeah mentors have their uh, experience and that is what they pass on to the uh yeah. mentees, the mentees yeah. Yeah. absolutely so you know um i mean this is going to be my final question sure. you know, taken so much of your time <laughs> no no problem. you know uh, so when you're actually doing a meeting uh with a mentor let's say it's a two hour meeting how do you keep it objective how do you make sure that you know there is uh, i mean the the meeting gives the maximum fruit to both you as well as to the Mentor yeah. and I mean and even when you play the role of a mentor yeah. and you know how does the founder take the maximum from it? So what what is your best way for a mentor mentee meeting to be very very objective and to be very result focused? I I think the best uh, thing and I have learned this you know generally when you when you are classifying somebody as a mentor and a mentee the mentor has a upper hand, right? And uh, the whole focus is that you know what is mentor gonna tell the mentee to make sure that the mentee learns. uh but it's it's essentially the opposite because uh, most of the times uh the mentee wants to express want somebody to be heard right. and i think the listening skills of the mentor matters the most in at least most of the mentoring sessions i do i just listen i just you know i just want the uh, entrepreneur to get out what is in his mind because the solution is i'm not a person who is you know i'm not a ai here uh, you know right. sitting where say, analyzing the problem and giving a solution it is a solution is in entrepreneur's head you know you're just helping that you know helping to figure out that focus and and that answer uh, which the entrepreneur wants and that cannot happen without listening right you have to just focus most of the times main you know many mentors you also meet who are just like talking for 2 hours and giving their life examples yeah. uh that is good but but you have to also understand is is the recipient uh what what is running in recipient's mind you know it okay. and most of the time at least at that stage where you are where you are stuck or you want to understand how to scale uh it is very important for them to uh you know just talk and express because most of the time they they don't have anybody to talk to you know they are, most of the time they are sitting with their very team members and yeah. it's with their team members you know whom it is with 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 them it is almost like guiding all the time yeah. but somewhere they need to share you know they can't share with with their family because they will feel that this this uh, person is in uh, stress but most of the time is just listening for the mentors and i think that is what i have done and i just love uh, you know most of the time they will come you know while talking to i realize that this is the solution right wow right. <laughs> you know it's yeah. because they just got a platform to speak yeah that's <laughs> No, absolutely, and I think uh, even both the mentor and the mentee have to be good listeners, yes. ready in order to be able to help each other. Yes, and, indeed. And uh, sometimes, as you said, you have to be able to uh, uh, just solidify the solution which is already in the mind of a uh, founder, yeah, and make it more purposeful for them absolutely. to say that this is the direction. Absolutely, absolutely. You are not running for him, right? Yeah. He is running you, so you are just guiding him. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah so i mean it's so wonderful talking to you i mean Likewise, it's, uh, okay. it's um, you know the coaching business coaching industry is just becoming bigger and yeah. we know i mean the way the startups are growing in way young founders and today even you know i see college graduates starting up wow. they need so much coaching today uh, yeah. to happen i mean recently we saw somebody in a school getting funded wow. so <laughs> now if we going to see that kind of ecosystem there's going to be immense need for business coaching in yes. our country yes. and not just the startups but the coaches also have to be prepared to be able yes. to give the right advice to our uh, founders yeah. train founders. the trainer <laughs> yes that's right so thank you very much thank for you thank you so much and thank indeed, you indeed i think some of the advices that you have shared with us today would serve as great insights for uh, future coaches who thank are going you. to be mentoring the young founders it's great to be here yeah. thank you so thank much thank you thank you so much